Hi everyone, it's Miss Joanne. Home, yay, no mask. So, how is everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Hi Jeremiah. Hi Lucas. Hi Josiah. Hi Omari. Hi Caitlin. I guess I should have waited for everyone. So, hi everyone in classroom eight. I'm, I miss being with you. And we'll be happy when we're back in the class again. I like seeing you, and I'd love to be able to add some more kids when it's safe, when parents feel comfortable. I can certainly don't envy your position as a parent today. So, it's been a while, so I filled out my calendar, but I made a mistake and I filled it out for today, so I guess I'll just tell you that yesterday, yeah, yesterday was Monday. I'm all confused because we had to go into work yesterday, but it was in service time and work in the classrooms. I had to take a bunch of little tests in order to do state testing, whatever. So today is, yesterday was Monday. So what's that make today? Ready? There is, oh, yeah, this thing now. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So yesterday was Monday, so Sunday, Monday. Tuesday is today, and that makes tomorrow, the day after today, Wednesday. So those are our days for right now. Yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday, and tomorrow will be Wednesday. So we know what day, but what number is it? And I kind of messed that up, but you can help me count along, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and next comes sixteen, which is today. So it is still February, the second month of the year. There's twelve months in the year. January was first, and now we're in February, the second one. And next comes the third. March, but that won't be for a little bit longer. So our sentence today is, today is Tuesday, February 16th, 2021 or 2021. I don't know why I say it both ways both, every single time. It's just, I think it's just, I don't know, it's ingrained in me, so I think I have to do it. Sorry, itchy elbow. Okay, so we got to that. We know all that. We have been working on the number seven. That's the number, the way you write the number symbol, and that's how you write the word seven, S-E-V-E-N. And seven, again, is one of those that we're working where we have to use both hands, or both feet, or hand and foot, to count to. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Seven. You guys are getting good at this. And now if we look on your pair of dice, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one has four dots and one has three because four plus three equals seven. I know that's way beyond you, but we're going to touch upon it. We have seven leaves. They're all green this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then if you're going to tally it like this, remember this is a group of five. Four, two, three, four, starting this way, and then five coming across. So when you see this, you know it always means there's five. And then we have six and seven. Knocking over things here. I got My daughter told me I have too much going around my ledge, around my room, but it's not her place. I mean, I respect her opinion, but not her home. We have been working on the letter 
What letter is that? Anybody remember? Oh, what did I do with my yes and no? I think they're over here somewhere. Hmm. I tried to straighten up. I hate when I straighten up, but I always put things where I don't remember where I put them. All right, well, I'll find them for next one. So, H. H can be... Sorry, I had to pause there for a minute. So, we are on the letter H, is what I was saying. And H can be for house, horse, hello, and a bunch of other words. I just figured that's an example. But H. Some place home that we're, or house that we're all happy to be in because it's, it's cold out and it's going to be... It's a weird week of weather. I guess tomorrow is supposed to be nice, but they're not so sure about Friday and Saturday. I mean, Thursday and Friday, but cold. So we have so much to do because so many things came at the same time that there wasn't time. Like we had Chinese New Year, um, Valentine's Day, which was Sunday, President's Day, Mardi Gras Day. So I'm just going to continue on. We're going to be late with some lessons. Um, because I prepared things and I, I want to share them. So I apologize they're late, but I didn't make up the calendar. Hmm. So Sunday, the fourth. Oh, here it is. Sunday, the 14th, is a day called Valentine's Day. You either love it or you don't. I'm not the biggest fan because I really don't think that it's a real holiday and that's to each his own. But there's some pretty Valentine's cookies that were decorated. Let's see, what do I want to sing? Let's read this one first. Okay. This has information on it. We'll read this one first. So Valentine's Day. I love all the pretty cookies. I love cookies. I just don't bake them a lot because I hate to bake. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Valentine's Day is named for St. Valentine. Some people say he wrote the first Valentine card. Valentine's Day is a day of to celebrate special people. That's a nice way to look at it, instead of just, you know, love. We all know special people. That's true. It could be a really close friend. It could be a mom or dad. Well, all of them. You know, and other relatives. Our parents and friends are very special. Oh, like I said, you think I wrote this. Oops. We may give gifts to special people on Valentine's or cards. A lot of people give cards. The gifts may be flowers, car oh, cards, and candy. Just everything but the cards tend to get pricey at this time. We may decorate our homes with Heart, heart shapes, that's the heart shape. It's compared to circle, square, doves, because they're a sign of peace and love. And cupids, how could I not read that? Cupid is a, is a symbol for Valentine's as well. It's a little angel, like baby with wings that has a bow and arrow that it shoots its arrow into your heart to make you, so you'll love them. I know. A little crazy. But in this one we're going to read about pretty. She thinks she's pretty. She's looking in the mirror. Something could be pretty. Wrong. No, that's wrong. Or you did that wrong. Or that's the wrong answer. Not right. Not correct. Too much. 
There's too many of these in this container, so they fall over the edge. There's too much. They all stick together. Make. See, he has a hammer in his hand. He's hammering a nail. He's making that box. Use. This is something he's using. It's in his hand. It may be he's making that box with sandpaper or to sand it down and make it nice and soft and smooth. Use. Cut. That's what we do with scissors at school. Cut. Only with you guys, we usually use those big green scissors that are easy to just push down on. Cut. But at least you can do it, right? Color. This person's covering that block with something. Just like when you go to bed, you cover up with a sheet, a blanket, something. Especially in the winter. It's cover. Right. Some people write using a pen or a pencil on paper. Some people write using the computer. We also consider it writing at school when we make sentences with just pictures because that's the way you write. You pick your what answers. Draw. That's when we give you pieces of paper and crayons and markers and we want you to draw with them. Draw, make a picture. I know that right now you need a lot of help, but it's fun. Spell. That's when someone can spell a word with individual letters. They spelled D-O-G, dog, spell. Aw, oh, this one's nice. If I can just get it apart. Love. It has the heart and the face, love. The feelings you have for mom and dad or sibling, uh, brothers or sisters or grandparents or really good family friends. Love. Or animals. I mean, I love my, my dogs. Flowers. I got some flowers on my birthday. They're what pops up in the spring around here on, and all summer long and they usually smell pretty or they act if not, they at least look pretty. Marker. If we don't use crayons or pencils, sometimes we use markers. Oh, everyone's favorite glitter. It just gets all over the place. I'm not a big glitter person. We use it, but I've, I've never been a glitter person. I, I don't think I ever... I very rarely ever did anything with my daughter when she was young with glitter because it just got everywhere. Glitter and Play-Doh were outside things. It's kind of like OCD on that. Glue. We use that to put it on the paper and put something else on and stick them there, glue them together. Oh, we had the heart earlier. Now we have the circle. It looks like a red circle. Although, yeah, well... A shade of red. Oh, see, circle, heart. Those are two shapes. Ah, more scissors, that's what we cut with. Yours look a little different, but you see Miss Joanne and Miss um, Julie using those. Card, a lot of people make their cards. That's probably why they were talking about scissors and markers and stuff. And my daughter was Two and a half. It was Valentine's Day, and um, oh gosh, we spent like I don't know how many nights making Valentines with paper doilies and this and that for like aunts and everybody. It was fun. It was hard because she was little. Shelly, that's a girl's name. She must be in the the story we're gonna read. Her name is Shelly. Valentine's Day. That was Sunday, February fourteenth. skip. So that must be Shelly. Well, I assume that maybe he's Shelly's valentine or a, relative, a brother, husband. I don't know. We'll have to read the story and see. 
and our story is written and illustrated by Travis Schaefer. He's the author, he wrote it, and he's the artist that drew all the pictures, the illustrator. A pretty messy Valentine. Ah, we figure that's gonna be that way because of the glitter and stuff, but let's see. Today is Valentine's Day. Skip and Shelly are making a Valentine's card together. Oh, I guess they're just friends. I guess they're young, so I don't know why I said husband and wife or something. Skip wants to use the scissors. The scissors. Oh no, this is not a heart. That's what he cut out. This is a circle. Shelly wants the card to be pretty. There's that word pretty we saw. Shelly cuts the circle into a heart. So she took that circle and she made it into a heart. That's very resourceful. She didn't waste the paper. Ah. Skip wants to use the glue. Oh no, that is too much glue. Look at all the glue he has on that and it's dripping. Way too much because it that doesn't more glue doesn't make it stick better. It makes it mushy and bumpy and stuff. Poor Skip's not having the best of time with his arts and crafts today. Shelly wants the card to be pretty. Shelly covers the glue with glitter. That's what all that is. She took the glitter and dumped it on all that glue. Skip wants to use the markers. Skip writes on the card. I'll be on the other side. And he says, love, Skip, and Shelly. Shelly wants the card to be pretty. Shelly draws flowers and hearts on the card. So he wrote, love, Skip, and Shelly. And then she drew the heart. And I guess she hasn't drawn the flowers on it yet. Oh, maybe they're, oh, I think she did. They're just in a very light yellow, so you, I couldn't see them. Sorry, itchy eye. Oh, I hate that. Uh-oh. Oh, no, Skip. You you spelled love wrong. Some people write love, L-U-V. That's, but the real way is L-O-V-E. It is not L-U-V. It is L-O-V-E. Oh, now you can see the flowers better that she threw. That's okay, Skip. It still looks pretty. Happy Valentine's Day from Skip and Shelly. I guess they made it for all of us. Because that is the end. I don't know if your family did something fun for Valentine's Day or not. I did not. I think the weather wasn't supposed to be the, the best. I don't remember what I ended up doing. I'll pick those up later. So I have a couple different activities to do with that. Just trying to pick which one I want to do. Maybe I'll do a couple of each. Since... We won't eat them again for another year. Miss Julie and I worked on these. We get them off the internet and then we laminate and everything. I don't want to lose my numbers here. Let's do a heart count. Let me see if this helps with the glare. I don't know if that makes it worse or better. But we're gonna do a heart count. So let's start with this one. We always try to start at the up the at the top on the and we read left to right. 
So we're going to start with this one and then go to this one and down and like that. So how many hearts are there in that that one picture? How many hearts is there? Is there one heart or is there three hearts? Let's count them. When I point it, let's say what it is. How many? It's one. One heart. And I don't have any, uh, I didn't put Velcro on this. I don't know why. I'll have to fix that later. But I can use a little bit of tape for now. So one heart. Now we'll go to this side. Let's see how many hearts there are here. You have to count with me. You can you try counting on your own. Okay, now we can count together. Ready? One, two, three, four. How did you do on your own? Did you do well? So that's four. So now we need to find the number four. There's so little that it's hard to hard for me to handle because they're slippery because of the laminate. So I want to know. I'm just trying to get it so that my fingers aren't covering the numbers. So we want to know which one of these is four because we counted one, two. Three, four. So is that the number four right there? Or is that the number four? Put that alone and think. Yes, four. No, not four. Yes, that's the number four. Or no, that's not the number four. We want the number four. If you said that one, you are correct. You are right. If you said the other one, it's okay. At least you thought about it and you tried. So all, I, all we can ask is that you try our, your best. That's all I ever asked of my daughter. Try your best. Now we're going to go down one and back to the left. This between isn't good with left and right. I should, you know, I need it tattooed on my hand so I can just look down and see which one's which. My daughter used to joke around that I needed those sneakers that said left and right on them for when kids are learning and stuff. It was a joke, but I could have used them. Let's count. I'm going to get some numbers, and then we'll count together. Not all of them came out of the bag that I have them in, so I'm going to grab some. So this is what we had counted. Let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five. Five hearts. So now we just need to know which number is five. Just want to make sure I had that the right way. <laughs> which one number is five? Is that five right there? Or is this the number five? Which one's five? That's the number five. And I'm going to do the rest on a different paper, just because we made it all, and I want to be able to use it. There wasn't time to like use it at different times because, like I said, there were so many different days to learn about this past couple weeks. It was crazy. But I had my good old my good old little valentines kind of creatures we have to count but they're made they're made up of hearts and things like that so they're cute oh i'm gonna do this one first because it's purple and we all know what miss joanne likes she likes purple so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it has a variety of things filled in on these and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boxes. So we have to look and see is there anything in any of these any of these marks in any of these boxes? Do you see any? 
No, you don't. So what number is that? Is that one, two, or zero? Can you think of it? Mr. Man didn't get her. Her spoon's out. Uh oh. Oh, there they are. Sorry. So there's nothing there, so that means it is zero. Remember, zero means if I had my hand out like this, I would have nothing in it. Zero. No whatever I was counting. Zero means there's none. Let's get another one. Let's find another cutie. Well, they're all cute. Oh, wait. He's cute. He's, di he's different. Oh, which one do I want to do? I don't know. I can't decide. They're all so cute. All right, let's do this one. Isn't it cute? Go. Oh, I just realized. Oh, no, that's just it's backwards. I thought that was a J, but it's, it's backwards. He has hearts on him. Cute little purple horns. He's pink. Very cute. So we are going to see, is this a three? Or does it have four chocolates? I'm going to say they're chocolates. Or is there six chocolates? So now we need to count. Ready? Count with me. One, two. What comes after two? One, two, three. Remember we went over our numbers. Which one did we say was three? Did we say this one was three? Yes, we did. This is three. That's four. And that's six. All right, one more. And find a different character. Let me see what I used just now. Try to get something different. Okay, this is different. Isn't he cute? He's pink and has some deeper pink hearts all over him. Little heart antenna. A ten eye hearts on here. He's so cute. It's almost like that's a smile. He's, he's smi smirking kind of, but in a cute way. I, I don't know how to do it. So we want to count all these chocolates. And on here, we're going to find out whether we have seven, six, or four. Seven six, or four. You ready to count with me? One. What comes after one? Okay, now I'll count out loud so we, we can hear it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six, and we, we went over these, so we know one of these is six. Which one did we say was six? Is this the number six? No, that's the number seven. That's the one we're working on. Is this the number six, or is this the number six? We've got these two choices. That's the number four, but that's not how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. This is the number six, and that's what we have. So, as I said earlier, we're going to be doing a few things late this week because everything came so fast, and then we didn't have school yesterday. But I figured you wouldn't mind. It's just good getting together. I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Stay warm because it's cold out there. Stay safe. 
because I like you all and don't want to see anybody get sick or hurt. I'm trying to stay safe and healthy myself. So far, so good. And in school, too. Get tested every week. Bye, Jeremiah. Bye, Josiah. Bye, Omari. Bye, Caitlin. God. And I save the best for the last. Bye, Lucas. Oh, you're all the best. I'll talk to you later. Bye.